Hi everyone, I am Jack Red. I'm going to change my idea a little bit. I'm going to give you some that I tried doing before, but it, they kind of rejected it, and I can understand. But I have this better thought out, and so hopefully this is going to be good. Um, there's two Hulk games that are very similar to each other. Um, uh, the first one is actually based on the Ultimate Hulk comic book series. The second one, I believe, is based on the Incredible Hulk movie with Edward Norton, Tim Ross. You get the picture. Um, okay. I can understand why some people say that the that the one that came before, the latest one, was better. Even though I'm going to be completely honest with you. What Hulk game will let you destroy a building whenever you want? Depending if it is destroyable or not. I mean, this takes that and limits it. Well, this, you got the whole city and you can destroy it any way you want. That's the freedom of this game. And people hate it because... I mean, it's obvious that some people hate it because Sega and their pants starting to suck. Marvel is doing bad with their games. Even though I'm starting to think they're starting to come back piece by piece. And, you know, it's just something new for them. Um, I gotta say, between the two, they have similar controls, similar unlockables, um, similar characters in there. Um, it even has um, Abomination as the main villain, and you can even play as him as one of the unlockables. As the comic books in there, you know, all this stuff kind of hits you like, like a sack of bricks. I mean, if you think about it, if you play them both, it's like, why is this game over here so similar to this, even though they're not the same game? You know, it's just like it, it just brings up questions, and you know, and that's then that's the shocker right there. Um, okay, before I'm gonna end this video. Um, I am going to do a little bit of the 2003 Hawk game. Okay, I played it. It's it's not as good. It's repetitive. Um, and and, and here's the big piss off about. It. Actually, there's two. Um, one actually was on the video state in the game that um the code can be found within the movie, even though the movie sucked. And the game itself was not based on the movie. It was like a sequel. And that's the piss off. They made the leader the main villain. And, and I'm like, what? What happened to a sword man? I mean, it's just like, god damn. Uh, excuse my language. I do apologize. Please don't get me in trouble. Um, I gotta admit, I was very upset about that. I have played it. Um, I, actually, I actually beat it within the time we um, ran it from um, Blockbuster that one time. So. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Enjoy the video.